Like, look at this. That's just incredible. Thanks for joining me for breakfast in the camper. Um, so why am I doing an off-grid snow day video uh, <laughs> instead of project videos? Well, obviously because it snowed. <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle of a bunch of outdoor projects. Uh, the water catchment system next to the shipping container. Uh, I'm building a uh, terraced grocery row garden. I'm fencing that in with deer fence and rabbit fence. Uh, and I'm working on the A-frame windows and doors. Uh, as well as improving all the campsites and laying down wood chips and things like that. All of this stuff is going on, but it all had to be put on hold because we got eight inches of snow, which for the Pacific Northwest in mid-April is an anomaly and wasn't expected. Uh, so all of those projects are on hold for a little bit, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, take you on a bit of a tour of the property, show you what I've got going on as far as the campsites and um, just the views and just see what 
beauty and damage uh, all of this snow has brought to the property. So uh, let's go for a walk. A lot of fallen branches. These trees are not usually here. They got broken in the storm, I guess. downed tree. Oh, that snapped off here. This is the spot where the camper is going to go. Where this big maple came down from. And if you see, this rotten maple came down I guess last night in the storm, including this big piece of rotten standing dead. But this is exactly why that maple had to be taken down, because it was leaning right over the road. Another down tree. Oh, another one up there. a cherry, I think. Looks like wild cherry. This is the upper campsite, first one I built. Three, possibly four places to pitch tents. Fire pit here. Got a picnic table. Cool chestnut tree right here. Covered in bear claw marks. All the way up. One of my favorite trees on the property actually. Not huge, but it's chestnut, and not many of those have survived. In the summertime, this is kind of a gorgeous view. <laughs> I'm 
I love seeing the property in winter like this. I mean, it's spring, but seeing it covered in snow gives you a whole different perspective. It's exhausting to walk around, but it's pretty beautiful. I know a lot of people only want to camp in spring, summer or f early fall. I love winter camping. It's a really beautiful time of year to see the property. It's quiet and it's beautiful. I love that everywhere I look. This is a future campsite or cabin location. And again, in, in, on a clear day, this is a really gorgeous view. What a beautiful place to camp. Right next to the trail. Secluded, quiet, with a breathtaking view. This is the last possible spot I can park my truck to unload lumber. So there's usually a pile of lumber here next to the trail. This is as far as I can get with the truck. And then everything from here on down, I have to haul by hand or in a pull cart. Uh, down to the creek area where I've been building the boardwalk, which I'll show you in a second. This is another little spot for a cabin, which is on a bit of a hill, so it'll be a sort of a raised deck cabin. And then the view will be this, which on a clear day you can see right across the top of those trees to the mountains beyond. It's not doing too well either. Oh, branch came down there, off the top of that tree. Anyway, this could be another spot for a camper or a cabin, or even just a little campsite. Beautiful place to see the stars. One of my favourite new hiking trails. Still has a lot of growing in to do. We only made it about a year ago. This tree fell down a long time ago, it's just been tidied up. I'm going to use it uh, to make a bench right over here on this little clearing around the edge of the trail, which will give you this sort of nice little resting spot about halfway up the trail just to sort of sit and forest bathe, <laughs> listen to the birds. is overlooking the wetlands. Oh, that tree just came down. Hmm. Tidy this up a bit, put a little campsite there. Picnic table here. And then you'll be right on the wetlands. Snow here, and kind of make it out. Is the boardwalk?
is the kind of stuff I love finding in the forest. This old sort of wagon wheel thing. I'm not sure what it is. Some piece of farming equipment maybe or uh, uh, logging equipment. But definitely some sort of spoked wheel thing. A little bit of that there. The creek trail, which is right behind me, that's what we're going to walk down right now. And this sort of big area here that's mostly just blackberries uh, and this nice, nicely established little alder. Um, yeah, be a great little spot for either a cabin or a camping deck or a, an umbel tent or something. I don't know, see what we'll put there. It's all a work in progress. Another down tree. Oh, just a branch. Oh dear. That snapped off. And this came down with it. This is the little bridge I built with the fallen tree and the decking wood that I built, oh, I don't know, probably two years ago now. If you've been following the Instagram for a while, you'd have seen me build it. It's just a little bridge over a uh, slightly swampy spring that runs down to the creek. Oh, so many trees have come down. This is going to be a clean up job and a half. That's sad. The general idea is to basically find all of these beautiful little spots throughout the property and build either just campsites with either a fire pit or a wood burning stove or some kind of camp stove or a deck, camping deck or even some kind of glamping tent, permanent tent installation um, or even if I win the lottery <laughs> a little cabin or something because there are all of these spots like this that are just sort of just deep woods breathtaking right next to the creek that I would love to camp in. It's really peaceful. Here we are down at the, really the nicest bit of the creek I find, like under these giant trees. This is a really sweet area. Nice babbling little waterfall-y bits going on here and there. Great place to camp, I think. That whole area over there is, it's kind of wet, so it would need to be a platform. But I think it would be a lovely spot to come and put like a one or two person tent and just hang out down here. This whole area here is covered in this kind of moss. I really like it. It's one of the first places I sort of fell in love with on the property. Like, look at this. I mean, that's just incredible. Right here is where I've planted a few coastal redwoods and giant sequoias between those two sticks there for future generations. Hopefully they survive. 
should be as big as this guy. There's another down tree from the storm. It's a hemlock. Just ripped it out of the ground. Oh, and another one. Giant sequoias planted here. Well, I'm completely buried. But they were both alive the last time I checked on. Little hemlock. These are the uh, cedar seedlings that I planted right at the beginning of the COVID lockdown and then had to water by hand during that whole crazy heat wave we had during the summer of 2020, I think it was. When it got up to 117 degrees out here, I had to come out with a watering can and water all these guys by hand. Here's another one. They seem to have mostly survived. The deer and elk love to pick at them, so their odds of survival out here are pretty slim without cages around them. But I don't want to put cages around anything. It's a forest. Survival of the fittest. God, it's cold out here. And wet. This is one of several trails that basically winds around, loops around, connects all the sides of the property from up at the top where the camper is and the shipping container and the gardens and stuff connecting the campsites, connecting the creek, the creek trail, all the way around the southern side of the property, up and down hills. It's a great hiking trail, it's a good hike, it's a good exercise hike. Lots of ups and downs. Some more of the cedars I planted in there, doing okay. And that's basically part of the plan for the property, it's just to make it really fun to hang out in. Definitely there'll be areas of the property that are you know devoted to growing food and sort of homesteading stuff but then it's going to be a lot of the property I want to just be a cool place to hang out to invite people to come up stay a few nights see the local sites and just generally experience nature and be in nature because it's beautiful out here even when it's not this freezing. My God, I look so cold. <sighs> it's because I am that cold. Here's another cedar. The dead hedge. And that brings us back to where we started. I have the shipping container. I keep all my mini firewood 
for the Cupid Mini Stove, which I'm going to need right now because it is cold and I am wet. Some of this is dry enough. It hasn't really been out here very long. Well, I hope you enjoyed this snow day tour of lumbering shenanigans. Editing it certainly reminded me of the scale of the adventure I've embarked on. Hopefully spring manages to fight back this surprise snow day and I'll be able to get back to doing outdoor projects soon. Next episode I'll be battling the elements to install the windows in the mini A-frame, which I can finally get done now the glass has arrived. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to follow along as the projects progress. Either way, thanks very much for watching.